bonjour and welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Claude and today Libra I'm going to be doing your February tarot reading. So I'm going to do a different type of spread, um, wanted to shake things up a little bit. I'm going to pull out um, the energy for the month out of my major cards. Then I'm going to pull out a court card which is how you are advised to show up this month and then I'll do a six card spread to delve into the message in more depth. So I hope you're doing well and that you've had a good beginning of the year. Please remember those are general readings. They will not resonate with everybody. So take what applies and discard the rest. So what energy do I have for my Libra clearance for February? energy for the month is the Hierophant and obviously I will be talking about this as soon as all my cards are out. How should my Libra clearance show up this month? King of Wands. I'm using my favorite deck. This is the Tarot of Marseille by Vincent Petitchi. If you like the art on the cards, I will leave you the um, details in the description box below. So what's this Hierophant about for the month then, for my Libra clearance? Okay, so we um, start the reading with the Three of Coins. You then have the Ten of Cups, beautiful, and the Eight of Coins. The Three of Coins is clarified by the Eight of Cups. The Ten of Cups is clarified by the Eight of Swords. And the Eight of Coins is clarified by the Four of Cups. Bottom of the decks, which is the energy underlying that you may not be aware of, but still at work around you, is the Five of Cups. Now I want to talk about this now with the Hierophant, because both of them are ruled by number five. And when number five appears, it talks about changes and challenges in your life. Now, the Hierophant is a major arcana. And obviously there are layers to, to the cards, it can mean many things. So for instance, the Hierophant can be a teacher, a spiritual counsellor. It can also represent knowledge. He can represent a big company, if you work within a big um, company. Um, he can represent uh, your belief system, you know, traditional um, beliefs, how you look at life. All of that kind of energy in this card. Obviously we're going to clarify with the rest of the other cards, but this is what this one is about. And in the energy around you, you have the Five of Cups. Now the Cups is to do with your emotions and feelings, but also your creativity, your intuition and spirituality. The Five of Cups talks about some kind of um, discontent. It, it's a ch an emotional challenge. So it could be discontent, it could be regrets, um, it could be also a disappointment, generally speaking, but this is the, um, um, the energy around you. And as I said, it doesn't have to be just disappointment or regrets to do with a relationship. It could be also um, you looking at your belief system and feeling disappointed because you've outgrown it. That's just an example I'm giving you. So... As I said, this is to do with emotions, feelings, but also your spirituality, your intuition. And the cards are recommending that you show up as the King of Wands. Now, the King is the Yang energy. This is action taking as opposed to a Queen who's receptive energy. 
So this is also the master of the suit. So this embodies immediately knowledge, action taking. So an action that's based on having the correct knowledge. Obviously male or female, because it's a general reading. It's just the embodiment of the trait of this card. And the one suit is to do with passion. And I look at your reading and there are no ones, so there's no passion um, coming off, and probably because of this Five of Cups, which, as I said, is an emotional challenge, you know, some kind of negativity, so discontent, um, regret or disappointment. The King of Wands is, is a very charismatic character, someone who's um, very confident and you know, a go-getter, someone who's going to take action, is an inspiring leader. Um, so the cards are telling you to get into that King of Wands fire energy, um, move forward using your knowledge, move past this energy that we're getting of um, disappointment, discontent or regret, take what resonates. Um, because the King of Wands would not just sit down and take it, he would take proactive actions to steer his life where he wants it to go, so that he can be happy. It's a very empowering card to have. So you start with the Three of Coins, supported by the Eight of Cups. So three is a beautiful number for growth, beginning of abundance, expansion. And the coins are to do with your physical uh, world, so home life, work life. So this talks about um, a growth if you if you have a business, for instance, product growth, if you are working in a company, this is people starting to recognize you, recognize your skills, you're starting to get um, the reputation that goes with it. But the Eight of Cups talks about advancement in your feelings and this is the card that says, do you know what, this is not satisfying me anymore and I want more, I want my Nine of Cups, which is the Wish Fulfillment card, or the Ten of Cups, which is the um, Happy Ever After card, and I, I really want to move past this, because the this Three of Coins is not enough for me. You then move on to the Ten of Cups, which is beautiful, because this is the um, all of your cups being full, you know, it's happiness, it's joy, it's having everything you ever wished for, it's a happy relationship and um, family life. But you've got the Eight of Swords with it, and the Eight, again, you've got two Eights at the bottom, if you see, and they, they could be read together, because the Eight of Swords talks about having erected some psychological walls. Um, it's being in the prison of the mind that you've self-erected and only you can get you out of it. So you're spending too much time in your head and um, you need to detach yourself from, th from this because thoughts are just thoughts, that's what they are. Um, they only manifest as, as events and situations if you give them the energy and then you they kind of self-manifest. So you need to be careful of this energy of being up in your head, um, not knowing where to go because you, you've trapped yourself in your mind. And that's because you want to get the Ten of Cups. And the Ten of Cups is here, but you're not seeing it. Or it will be here, but you're in a danger of not seeing it because you're all up in your head, is the message I'm, I'm getting. You then move on to the Eight of Coins and the Four of Cups. That Eight is the number of advancement, as I said, and you've got three of them. So, you know, Eight is going to be an important number for you um, this month. So pay attention to its um, occurrence, or should I say reoccurrence, during the month, um, because that's quite important. The Eight of Coins talk about, talks about working hard at something, applying yourself, developing your, your skills, pushing forward, um, but it can have, on the shadow side, a connotation of um, routine. You know, you, you're doing the same work because obviously in order to, to get better at something you have to repeat the action, whatever it is, whether it's at work, whether it's at home. Um, whatever we're talking about here, it's repetitive. Um, I'm personally getting the message that um, we, you're looking at your life, generally speaking, and you are not feeling fulfilled by your work. You're wondering what 
what should I do? What, what's my purpose in life? That's what I'm, I'm getting. It's like a spiritual crisis. That's the message I'm hearing for most of you. Um, you know, what's the point of doing this work? I'm seeing a bit of growth. I'm paying my bills, but what's the point? When actually you, you have the Ten of Cups, you have um, happy circumstances around you, but you're up in your head and you're not seeing it. And when you work at something, you just see the repetition, the routine, which is putting you as well in a um, Four of Cups energy. Now, the Four of Cups, generally speaking, is emotional stability. But on the shadow side of it, this is you um, feeling a bit blasé and stagnant and maybe even bored. Because if you think about it, when you put water into a small container, it becomes stagnant and stale. And this is what's happening. And this is why, you know, with this Five of Cups energy around you, you you're feeling displeased, discontent, um, disappointed, generally speaking. And so the cards are advising you to be like the King of Wands. They're saying, hey, take ownership of your life and go forward confidently towards something that excites you. Wands really is about passion, what you really want to do. Um, it, it's that, you know, that fire in the belly that, yeah, this is really what I want. And it's, you know, taking the calculated risk, but going after it. This is the go-getter card. And Wands is also the entrepreneur suit. So if you're thinking about um, doing something completely different with your life, um, then maybe, you know, now is the time to look at it, is what the cards are saying. Now, obviously, you've got free will, and every action you take, every thought you have, will affect the energy. But this is what February is going to look like for you. It's going to be like a a big um, life assessment, um, some kind of semi-spiritual crisis, because sprouting out of you, feeling discontent, or bored, or blasé, or disappointed with your life and the way it's going at the moment, just generally speaking, and wanting more. And there's nothing wrong with wanting more. Just go um, towards what really ignites you, what you feel passionate about. I'm going to give you um, a last card to close out the reading. Final advice for my Libra querents, please. Six of Cups. Okay, so six is the number of harmony after having overcome some challenges, the challenges of the number five that we've got here. So it could be um, it could be um, accepting the help of someone is what I'm hearing because the Six of Cups talks about um, harmonious relationships, um, long-term relationships, committed relationships or people you've known since you were a child. So you may have someone who can help you um, and so you may want to ask them for help, or you may want to rely on the support of um, your partner if you are in a long-term committed um, relationship, or rely on the support of your family. But this is to do with um, relationships you can count on, or that you've long f known for a long time, and not being afraid of asking for help or direction at any rate. So I hope you've enjoyed your journey through the cards with me. If you did or if the message resonated in any ways, do let me know in the comment box below. I'd love to hear from you. Thank you so much for choosing to stop by. I really appreciate it. I wish you an excellent February month and I hope to see you again very soon. Until next time, au revoir.